God's love endures forever. Please be seated. We gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage and to witness the joining together of Sydney and Michael. To surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in the love of God. God created us male and female and gave us marriage so that husband and wife may help and comfort each other living faithfully together in plenty and in want, in joy, and in sorrow, in sickness, and in health throughout all their days. God gave us marriage for the full expression of the love between a man and a woman. In marriage, a woman and a man belong to each other, and with affection and tenderness, they freely give themselves to one another. God gave us marriage for the well-being of human society, for the bordering of family life, and for the birth and nurture of children. God gave us marriage as a holy mystery in which a man and a woman are joined together and become one, just as Christ is one with the church. In marriage, husband and wife are called to a new way of life, one that is created, ordered, and blessed by God. This way of life has not be entered into carelessly or from selfish motives, but responsibly and prayerfully. We rejoice that marriage is given by God, blessed by our Lord Jesus, and sustained by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, let marriage be held in honor among all. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are always faithful in your love for us. Look mercifully upon Sidney and Michael who have come seeking your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them, so that with steadfast love they may honor the promises they make this day through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Our hymn is number 611. Please stand as we join to sing together.
sending in your baptism, you have been called for the union with Christ and the church. Do you intend to honor this calling through the covenant of marriage? Do you? Michael, in your baptism, you have been called to union with Christ and the church. Do you intend to honor this calling through the covenant of marriage? Do you? I do. Who gives this woman to be married in this man? Her mother. Duke and Joseph, representing their families, do you give your blessing to Sidney and Michael? And do you promise to do everything in your power to uphold them in their marriage? Do you? Will all of you witnessing these vows <coughs> do everything in your power to uphold Sidney and Michael in their marriage? Please answer, we will. We will. Let us pray. God of mercy, your faithfulness to your covenant frees us to live together in security of your powerful love. Amid all the changing words of our generation, speak your eternal word that does not change then we may respond to your gracious promises in living faith and obedience through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen now to the word of the Lord as it's found first in Proverbs. Do not let loyalty and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart so you will find favor and good repute in the sight of God and of the people. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and He will make straight your paths. And a reading from Colossians, the third chapter. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Michael and Sidney, since it's your intention to marry, join your hands and with your promises, bind yourselves to each other, husband and wife. Michael, you repeat after me. I'm Michael, take you, Sidney. I'm Michael, take you, Sidney. To be my wife. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful husband, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. Sydney, repeat after me. I, Sydney, take you, Michael. To be my husband, and I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife 
in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. Let us pray. By your blessing, O God, may these dreams be to Michael and Sidney, symbols of unending love and faithfulness, reminding them of the covenant they have made this day through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Sydney, this ring I give you is a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Michael, this ring I give you as a sign of our constant faith and abiding love in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, Look with favor upon the world you have made it redeemed, and especially upon Sidney and Michael. Give them wisdom and devotion in their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, a counselor in perplexity, a companion in joy. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, and their spirits in your spirit that they may grow in love and peace with you and each other all the days of their life. Give them the courage when they hurt each other to recognize and confess their fault, and the grace to seek your forgiveness and to forgive each other. Make their life together a sign of your love to this sinful and broken world, that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness, heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual love that they may reach out in concern for others. Grant that all who have witnessed these vows today may find their lives strengthened, and that all who are married may depart with their own promises renewed. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity, by which all your children are united one to another, May be so transformed by your spirit that your peace and justice may fill the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as Christ taught his followers, so we pray together, say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Before God and in the presence of these witnesses, Sidney and Michael have made their solemn vows to each other. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. Woo! Bless me, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Michael and Sidney. As God's own, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. And crown all of these things, love, 
which binds everything together in perfect harmony. The grace of God attend you. The love of God surround you. The Holy Spirit keep you, that you may live in faith, abound in hope, and grow in love, both now and forevermore. Amen.